guys and welcome to today's video. So in today's video I've decided to do another lookbook as I think it's been a bit of a while since I made one and I just love doing them. So today's lookbook is going to be how to look stylish in the office. So office wear for me, I love it. I love the like smart casual look, the it's just so classy and I just, I don't know, I feel quite sassy in like a good work outfit. So I thought I would showcase some of my little tips and tricks on how to like style yourself in the office to, you know, stand out a bit but still, you know, look smart and be appropriate. So a lot of the items shown in this video today will be from Pretty Little Thing. It's a very affordable website um, and I just thought, like, I was looking at the prices and I was like, if this stuff is really nice, like, anyone can, no one has an excuse not to look stylish in the office, basically. So, um, that being said, I'm gonna jump straight to it. So, the first outfit I'm gonna show you, I think I just showed you, basically, is a very, very bright one. So, it's the brightest one out of everything I'm gonna show you today. Um, just because one way of looking stylish in the office is to have a pop of colour, like, to be colourful, because the rules and regulations on what to wear in the office are based on like the amount of clothing, that sort of thing. Like obviously some offices will want black and white, but if yours doesn't, you can wear a suit that is very, very colourful. So I'm going to showcase to you guys today a green one that I am obsessed with. Like look at the colour of this. So it is just forest green and these are just like straight leg trousers from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I got them in a size 8 and they're not stretchy at all. So um, they are just a sturdy like work trousers, but they have been like tapered quite nice. Um, so I'll show you how they fit on me and then you can like work out your size from that. But they are, they're a lovely quality and they're just lovely. I really, really like these. Um, <laughs> one thing Pretty Little Things started doing is look at this. Like it's like a tag that goes from the top of the trouser through the leg and it's to stop people, I guess it's to stop someone wearing the item before they return it because it's like, Please do not remove unless you are satisfied with this garment, which I am, so there will be no returns. Um, returns will not be accepted if this tag has been removed. That's one way to do it, isn't it? So, well, they're the trousers, which I just love the colour of them, like, isn't that amazing? And then the jacket is just a nice sort of, like, I'd describe it as a boyfriend jacket. It's more oversized, it's not your fitted, tight-fitted one, so it's another way, like, I normally wear very tight fitted work gear but because the trousers fit so nice you could wear like a white shirt underneath and then just rock it like, I don't know, with the jacket like that, something like that. But um, no, so it's sort of like a looser fit jacket that just, I don't think it has any buttons, no, so it just sort of like hangs done up or you can like swing it over your shoulder and just look extra sassy. I did get this in a six and I mean there's plenty of space in it, um, but yeah, no, loving this, I love the material of it. So I'll go pop this one on for you guys. So this is what it looks like and how I've styled it. So because of the colour, I've just gone for a simple white shirt with it just to play it safe. Um, but the trousers, they're lovely. A size 8 is a little bit big, um, but I'm just going to sew in some elastic just at the top here so it like ruches it in a bit. Um, but they are stunning, like very, very sassy. Um, definitely would make a statement. And also very smart, like I do really love it. So this is the jacket. Um, I just love like wearing it over my shoulder because I just love that look. I think it's so cool. But um, yeah, so the jacket is sort of like the boyfriend style. It's quite oversized. This is the size six, um, but it's also very smart. Like it's a nice length. It sort of just fits like that. But um. No, so loving this. I don't think I've ever seen someone wear a green suit, but um, I'm going to rock it myself now. So um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. Um, and that's the look number one. So the next outfit I'm going to show you is also along the same lines as the green one you just saw. Is the idea of adding a little pop of colour to your outfit. Although this one I'd say is a little more risky. So it's another suit from Pretty Little Thing in this sort of like... I want to say like banana yellow colour, but the issue I found with this one is the material difference. So this one's a lot more stretchy, um, which is absolutely fine in work clothes as long, I just feel as long as it doesn't look too stretchy and still looks very smart and, you know, well made, it's not an issue. But, um, because I wear a lot of like stretchy work clothes anyway, but this one, because of its colour and because of its material type, 
it's just a bit risky. And also with stretchy like materials, you've got then you're fighting against the see-throughness. And I've got like, you can see all the labels through this and it's not even stretched out. So in order to work this, I'd probably have to wear like the cycl nude cycling shorts, unpick all the labels, um, but it's just, it's a lot of hassle. But I've just looked at the label. I've got these in a size four. I am definitely not a size four. I think I might have either, either it's a mistake on my part or um, they've sent me the wrong size, but nonetheless, they're stretchy enough. So I think I'm gonna be able to get them on because um, I have only got a little waist, but that's now even a size four. I'm gonna be stretching that out on my bum and thighs. So I am scared at how see-through these are gonna be. And then the jacket I got looks like this. Um, and I got it in a size eight. That sounds more like me. Um, only thing I would say is because of its material, it doesn't hang, I don't really know how to describe it. It hang, it doesn't have a structure to it. It's a very like flimsy, stretchy material. Um, but I think on it might be workable, but it might be like wear the jacket with white, you know, slim leg trousers rather than the matching yellow ones. I'm not sure. I've got like a vibe that it might look a bit pajamery, but I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to put it on with the shirt and we'll, uh, we'll see if I can make this work. But I mean, you're definitely going to make a statement in these suits, like, aren't you? I love the, um, I love the fact it's got the black buttons because that means I can wear black shoes with it and it sort of matches. Well, in theory anyway, but I'm going to go pop that outfit on for you now. So this is what it looks like, and we're having a bit of a disaster with this one, guys, because I love it. Like, these trousers, they fit so nice, but look at this. Like, they are completely see-through, front and back, so you can see all the tags that are within them. So the only way I can think of even making these remotely suitable for an office is literally wearing nude leggings underneath, or cycling shorts sort of thing. Um, but I just, I don't think the material is appropriate for work. It's very sort of, I don't know, it's just, it just isn't appropriate. And the other thing is I like to tuck in my tops and um, as we can quite clearly see, we can literally see the top tucked in. It does not look good. So uh, that's not an option. Uh, the jacket, it doesn't hang with much shape. Um, so you are the shape within the jacket, which isn't the end of the world. It's not terrible. Uh, if anything, it's a godsend because it covers the see-throughness of the trousers. But, um, no, I'm not sure. And the black buttons, I know I said they would, like, match my shoes and stuff, but they're a bit harsh on the yellow. I think white ones or a light colour would have looked a bit better. Um, but nonetheless, from a distance, I mean, it is a yellow suit. Like, it does do the job, but, um... It's just, it just needs some work. Right now, I cannot wear this. Like, I think the camera even makes these look less see-through than they are. Like, I look in the mirror and I can see the exact, like, every, just the exact pants I'm wearing. It's not good. Apologies, I just realised I'm wearing a really dark lipstick whilst trying these on, and that does not go with banana, but that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, I love the fit of the trousers just because... They're, you know, a nice, they just hug nicely, but they need to be twice as thick. Like, they literally need a lining. Um, but, I mean, it's a nice colourful suit, so if you think you can make it work, definitely check out Pretty Little Thing, because they've got you covered when it comes to colourful suits. But, um, now let me know what you think about this one, and if you have any tips on what I can do. Like, is there anything I can do? I don't know, but, so, that's this look. So moving along from the idea of colour, the other idea to look stylish or even on the sexy side this one which is where you've got to find the middle ground between sexy and classy for the office is a leather skirt. So you might be thinking oh my god I'd never wear leather to work. But if you get the right leather skirt, like for instance this one is a very long leather skirt, there is no significant slit, there is only a little one at the back just so I don't have to walk like a penguin um, and it's got a nice sort of like top to it, anything I would say. Is it, is it me, or are they finished off differently? It shouldn't show too badly, but I wanted this to like tuck shirts into, because um, it's like a high-waisted long skirt with nice heels. You'd look very smart with like a nice jacket, but also very stylish, you know. Not everyone wears a leather skirt to work, so no, I do really like this. It's sort of, is, is it stretchy? It's not stretchy, but the material sort of gives a bit, so 
it is a bit stretchy I'd say and I got this in a size 8 and again I'll link it down below it's from Pretty Little Thing um, but it's actually a lovely skirt and I think with sort of like satin blouses or like a nice colourful shirt I mean you'd be making a statement in this I'd love that so I'm going to try it with like a nice shirt so I'm going to go have a look what ones I have so shirt wise I did actually pick up from Pretty Little Thing a blue satin one um, only thing I would say Black and blue, like I think a nice orange or a red would look amazing with that. So I'll see what else I have, but I'll try it on with this one. And then if I'm not liking it, I'll also try it on with another color. But you get the idea, you wear like the skirt and then you wear a smart shirt, but also a colorful shirt. And you'll just be like, match the shoes to the like, if you've got red like heels or like court shoes with a red shirt, like you'll be making a statement or even black shoes. To be honest, the skirt's the statement, isn't it? But um, no, so I got this shirt in a size small and it's a lot bigger than I think I realized. Cause um, yeah, it looks big, but my issue with shirts is I've got a chest on me and when I do up buttons, like for work especially, I can't have the buttons tugging. It's just, it's not a good look, it, especially for work. Like if you turn to the side and they're pulling apart and you can literally see down my shirt or if they're just, the tension's high within the buttons. It's just, it's not appropriate for work at all. Um, and to be honest, I just, I wouldn't want to wear it. So I've got this one, I went up a size to the model because I thought, okay, <clears throat> I was looking at the model and I was like, I'm, I'm a little bigger than her, I'd say. So I'll try a small thinking that would be absolutely fine, but it's massive. So we'll try it on. So definitely I could have sized down in this one is what I'm trying to say. But I'll go put those two together and we'll see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like, and I actually don't mind the blue with the black. I think it goes absolutely fine, and <laughs> this is really funny. So, you know, I thought the top of the skirt was, like, a bit uneven. I've just discovered that all it is is it's just folded in a bit, so I just need to unpinch it out. Wait, and then it's the same. Ta-da! So it's not unsymmetrical. It was just the material was just poked inside a little bit, so um, that's absolutely fine. So, yeah, so I like the idea of having like a looser fitting shirt that's tucked in. Um, and this is definitely an oversized one. I did go for a size small, but I, they do do an extra small. But I think the actual style of the shirt is quite oversized. But I think it looks nice to have the tight fitting skirt and then the looser shirt. Um, the length of the skirt's perfect and the slit, it doesn't come up high at all. So, again, definitely workable in the workplace. But it's just whether or not you are, you know, brave enough to wear leather or whether it's acceptable in your workplace. But um, definitely a way to jazz up your uh, outfits. Um, so that's this look. Now, if your office or workplace, you know, doesn't, if you think leather just out the question, either for yourself or just not appropriate, fair enough. Like, it's not for every work environment. For me personally, I think I'd, I'd be able to wear it. I don't exactly have an office job currently, but I tend to just like to wear smart clothing just generally. I feel very you know, sassy and just classy in it, I love it. Um, but the next, the other way you can do it is get like a nice black pencil skirt to wear with, again, the same things you'd wear the black leather one with, you wear it with like nice shirts, colorful shirts, a nice jacket, but it's got a little bit extra to it. It's got the little wrap eyelet detailing. Um, so obviously if you're a bit smaller, you can tighten it, but it's more just for the accessory effect of having the little tie thing there with the eyelet. It's a nice, it's just a nice extra. And if you accessorize it with like a silver bag or silver jewelry, um, it's just like an understated statement, if you will. Like just a little something different from your general, just plain black or gray work stuff. So um, I like to stand out a bit. I don't know if you can tell, but just a little thing extra can make a big difference to your outfit. So I'll go try this on with probably, I think a nice white shirt and heels would make this outfit. Um, but it's very nice because even though it's got this wrap over, if I show you, so it's got the wrap over, but there is no slit like this is the skirt is completely whole. So if there is no slit in it at all. So if you thought the leather one too risky, like even though it's long, like you just like slits and leather for work, like what are you doing, Emma? That is not appropriate. Like I'd suggest go for something like this very comfortable, very stretchy, and just lovely. And I wear a size six in this skirt, so if you'd like to use me for sizing, please do. So this is how it looks, and as you can see, it's a very smart look. It's very appropriate for the office, 
Um, it's just very easy to wear, it's very sleek, but yeah, it's still very stylish. You've got the asymmetrical hem to the skirt because of the wrap, just the way it works, but you haven't got to worry about any slits. You've got the little eyelet detailing here and then the tie on the side. Um, it's just little details that just add to a look. And then it's also a very versatile outfit, like just having a black pencil skirt, you can jazz it up in so many ways. Like a white shirt, you're very safe, but it looks very nice with it. You can also wear more colourful shirts, that sort of thing, wear jackets with it. And then you can always match like your shoes or change the colour of your handbag to match your shoes, that sort of thing. Um, but no, really, really love this one. I think it's, especially this skirt, like it's so stretchy and comfortable. But yeah, very smart. And it's also, you could dress it down as well if you wanted to. But um, I just love the way these sorts of skirts, like the leather one and this one, it sort of makes like little work dresses without them being actual dresses. So you can have shirts that you wear with your trousers or your skirts, but um, they make like multiple outfits. So love this. So this suit is my favorite. Out of everything, it's between this one and the green one, I'd have to say. Um, just everything about it, the material, the quality, the stretch, um, and just the pattern on it, like, I love it. I generally love it. And I'd actually, funny enough, I'd wear this to an event, I think, because it's, it's one of those statement pieces that's very smart, but very safe. So it's a pinstripe suit. So the legs, they're sort of like wide leg, but we've not got, well, they're not really wide leg, they're sort of just like tapered straight down, they're straight legged. That's what I meant. Um, so there's no flare, nothing like that. And then I got a size six. And they are very stretchy, but because of the pinstripe, they look like proper work trousers and no one's gonna, no one really like pinches the material to tell. So because they don't look stretchy, we're in the clear. And pinstriped is a great way of, you know, in the office, if you're just wearing plain colors, but you wanna jazz it up a bit, I'd go for pinstripe or sort of like the hound's tooth or the tartan look. It just, it makes, it's just something different, isn't it? It's just another, another thing to wear. Um, and the jacket, sort of is because it's stretchy it's similar to the yellow one you saw but because again because of the pattern it hangs it just looks better if that makes sense like even though it's the same fabric the colorings are just safer so if you want to play it safe and out of all of these items you want a suit that you can wear in any environment this is the one for you because it's a bit different it's got very stripy but it it fits all the bill like um any workplace unless they're like plain black then Unfortunately, I don't think it fits, but no, absolutely love this one. So I got a size eight and uh, no, it fits nice and it's just got buttons and yeah, it's just nice. Just sits on you however you want. And to be honest, if you're not a jackets person, the trousers alone with a nice white shirt, there'll be something people look at. So this is how it fits and I, uh, it's, it is just my favorite suit. I mean, it's such a stretchy material, but also doesn't look stretchy. So it still appears very smart. Um, but the fit of it is lovely and then I've just matched it with a sort of like a plain white shirt ideally I, I would want it completely plain but this one just has like some crisscrosses on it but it doesn't really show and um, just so it doesn't clash with the pinstripes but um no it just looks like this the trousers are very much on the long side um, so even in my heels they come perfectly to the floor so I couldn't have them any longer but they are just perfect I'd say so I might tuck them up a tiny bit and um, just so I don't trip over but that's a minor detail but even though they're stretchy they're not see-through at all which is ideal unlike the yellow suit I recently showed you um, but yeah so that's this look for you so the next items are dresses and I've got a few fairly different dresses for you guys today so the first one is a blazer dress now People are wearing these clubbing out to events and they're wearing them with no tops underneath. They're just, you know, completely naked, um, which is great for parties, fair enough. But for work, you can take these blazer dresses and you put a shirt underneath and proper trousers and suddenly you have a much, you know, a very different look. So I got this grey blazer dress with this sort of lovely, like, square pattern, uh, square pattern all over it. I went to say pattern and fabric in one go and it just came out as, like, fatten. But, um... No, so I love this, and it's darted at the back, and it's very fitted, and then it has a belt that you just tie around, and it's like got a gold, it's got gold detailing on it, which again, you just match with your accessories. Um, only thing I would say, it's too short to wear as a blazer dress on its own for work, I would say. So I don't actually own any white work trousers, but that would be something that would look lovely with this, a pair of white, you know, 
skinny or tapered leg trousers with this on and you'll be home and dry it would be a very classy look but um, I'll probably pop it on without any trousers on just so you could see the length of it and see if it's something you'd want to rock but um no I love the idea of it like a longer blazer as like a sort of like a dress statement so I'll go pop this one on so this is how it looks like just as is so as you can see it's the perfect sort of party dress um, I've just paired it with a pair of grey heels and um you're ready to go. It doesn't need anything underneath. It just wraps on and it's a really nice sort of like outfit. Um, but for work, the neckline isn't too bad, but I would wear either a bandeau that came across here or a white shirt. Um, and then obviously a pair of trousers. So I'm going to go style it for work, but this is how it looks like just normally. It's still very smart, still very like classy but it's just not quite appropriate for the workplace I don't think so I'm gonna go put that on and then I'll be back so this is how I've styled it and all I've done is I've put a nice sort of white blouse underneath just with a zip um, just to bring the neckline in a bit just so it's not too open um, and then I paired it with a white pair of trousers now these ones are a little bit too flared I think for the outfit I think it would look a lot nicer with like straight legged ones but you get like the idea of the look like the blazer can work like as a normal jacket not just as a dress so um yeah if the blazer dress is a bit on the shorter side pair it with a nice pair of trousers and you get a very different look but a very smart one so um no, I love this one. I just keep realising the sleeves are like slightly too long for me, so I need to like just fold them over, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, that's this one. And not to forget, a pair of shoes does make an outfit, so whether you're a high heel lover or a flats, like you can definitely manipulate those to make an outfit, so don't forget the shoes and the accessories like a bag and a belt etc all makes a difference but um yeah so that's this one so the next dress I got is a size 6 just simple bodycon you know very safe black dress with a tie waist going on um so I just think this is a very nice look it has got a little slip but it doesn't come too high so you should be safe but we'll see when I try it on I haven't put this on yet and I did get it in a size 6 I'm looking at the fabric and yep, yeah, you can see me through that. So I am worried that it's gonna be see-through, but if you've got any like black slips or things like that, you can just pop them under because Pretty Little Things prices a lot of the time reflect their material. Like if they're a little bit more than the other ones on their website, they're normally like double lined. This one was on the cheaper side, um, but we'll see how it looks. And I should have gone for an eight because I always make this mistake. Like I always think if it's stretchy, I was like, oh, stretchy, a size six will just stretch around me. And I'm like, yes, it will but it will also stretch around you, meaning it will go a lot more see-through than a size 8 or 10 would, um, which would probably fit the exact same. So I'm learning slowly about the sizing. But um, no, this is a very simple look, and you just, you accessorize black with sort of like color. So I might put like some color in my hair, like not hair dye, like a flower or something. You could change, the other thing you could do is change this waistband to red or something like that and you match it with your shoes like you can still go very smart like all in black head to toe but you have a little pop of color I've been saying that a lot this video just somewhere on you just to you know be a little bit different and just change it up a bit but um now I'll go pop this on and we'll see how see-through we're dealing but um no and I'll also I've got like a red belt I could try with this so I'll try and change up the colors a bit so this is what it looks like and the slit it does look rather sexy to me, um, but it is also very smart. And the material, it is see-through. Like, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but I am wearing a nude bra, but maybe with a black bra underneath, it will be better. Um, I'll play around with that to decide. Um, but yeah, with types and stuff, I wouldn't be too worried about the see-throughness. Just the slit I'm worried about, because a lot of work skirts have the slit at the back of the skirts, which I actually find more, like, revealing than a leg slit. But, um... No, so I'm, I'm not sure on this one. Let me know what you think. I'd probably still wear it to the office with tights on, like fairly thick ones, but um, no, I don't know. I love the dress. I think it fits beautifully and the neckline of it's perfect with the three quarter length sleeves. Being a size six, it's not too tight at all. It's just see-through, so um, I'll just have to play around with that. But the other thing you can do with dresses like these 
is change the colour of the belt. So if I just slide the black one out um, and put the red one on, it can make a real big difference to the dress, but it's only a tiny, tiny little pop of colour you've changed. And then all I would do is I'd match my shoes to the belt or like have a red handbag as well. Um, so I'd get red shoes and then you're very smart, you're mainly black, but you're also quite different. You've got a pop of red going on. Um, so that's the other thing I do with this dress. But yeah, let me know what you think about the slit. I, don't, I, I think it's all right, but the other thing, I could sew it up a little bit. So I could just sew it down an inch. But um, yeah, so that's this one. And to be honest, I love it. <laughs> I'd definitely wear it if I could. So um, no, love this one. So that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Apologies, it was so long, but I just get so excited about work outfits and how to style them. Um, but if you guys like these, I'll do some shorter videos on more in-depth things like skirts, dresses, trouser looks. Um, and how to just style up something that isn't very, you know, stylish to start with or if it's just quite understated. Um, but no, I really enjoyed this video and I loved everything I've got, so I hope you guys did too. Please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what was your favourites, what you really liked and what you like. Emma, do not wear that to the office, you will get fired. But um, no, so let me know and I will be back with more soon, so thanks for watching!